All right, so today we are leaving from Bloomington and we are gonna be going out to nowhere. We're gonna go explore. Depending on the road, we may or may not be headed towards Vegas. Like through the woods. That's a loosely used term here in the desert. Let's enjoy this ride. We are here at Maverick, getting ready to go. Fuel up, strap down, make sure we got everything. Then we're gonna head out, right down that way. Yeah, let's go get some. We are headed out to Bloomington. What year is this again? 1990 Zuzu Trooper. 1990 Zuzu Trooper. Front and rear, ARB air lockers. How many torsion, old man knee moves, suspension, uh, revolution gear reduction, and some other stuff too. Yeah, that's sweet. From North Carolina? North Carolina. <laughs> Lots of upgrades to this thing. Just rebuilt the motor? Yeah, man. Next project's, project's a little body work, and then we're going to get it painted. Whew, nice and clean. Spent two months uh, disassembling and cleaning every piece on it and painting every part, replacing about every sensor and accessory on it. Had two uh, NASCAR engine builders uh, help me build this and go out to, real shout out to Chris and uh, Dolan Mathis and uh, my buddy Don Scott, he's always been there helping with everything too. It's been a challenge. We could tell a story on this engine having to pull it several times because of bad oil from it. <laughs> but it runs great, balanced to one gram. Uh, Michael Durham, who's an uh, engine builder for uh, race cars, he balanced this thing. It runs great. Really happy with the vehicle. Yeah, we're going to go test it out here in the southern Utah desert. It'll be great. Climbing some rocks and taking sniper with us too. Yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey. Nothing like a Belgian mountain wall. So where I actually met Rex was at an O'Reilly's getting some things for my truck. He was working on his engine, started talking to me about Renegade, and here's the adventure. This uh, trench area right here, and then uh, we can tear down and whatnot, and get a little bit easier ride on the brakes. Absolutely. And I must say, this Isuzu Trooper looks so sick on these trails. It was like it was in its own territory and meant to be there. Never met a guy like Rex. Great dude, and appreciate the adventure. We just aired down, and we are ready to go. Got the GoPro hooked up on the outside. Also have the drone today, so we should be getting some pretty cool shots, getting some things going. Should be a good day. Should be pretty fun.
when we first started going up this hill made me really nervous. I'm just glad we were able to catch some of this on the drone. This is my first time flying and recording a moving target, so bear with the jerkiness of the footage. Rex engaged his lockers and was still struggling and spinning his tires at some points. This climb was no joke. I must admit, I don't know if you guys can really tell in the GoPro video or the drone footage, but that hill was pretty sketchy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was fun. This is an awesome trail. Definitely getting the ridge line, some overlanding practice, 100%. It's good stuff. I loved Rex's reaction when he's like, man. I can't believe you made it up that thing in high gear. <laughs> and you know it's steep when you can see dirt being spun out in a low gear. Uh, you, If you watch the drone footage, you can see his rear end spitting out some dirt. So it, that's pretty impressive.
just have to show you, hit a little bit of water, not too bad, but then I got a whole bunch inside. <laughs> That's what happens when uh, you have tires that stick out without any uh, wheel, wheel or fender flares. <laughs> good times though, met some good people. They were fun, They're, they are from Wyoming and we're gonna continue on. So this is where we're gonna stop for lunch right here next to like a Joshua Tree Forest, which is awesome. Oh, check, check out the these. Cactus. Let's take a gander at these cactus over here. Or cacti, whatever you say. Man, this is freaking cool. Look at the size of this thing. That is pretty awesome. You see those in movies all the time. Man, look at that view. Alright, so lunch, we got some Ritz crackers, then we got some beanie weenies, and we got this top ramen, but I took a can of chicken as well and put it in here. So got chicken, top ramen with all the seasoning and such, it's going to be spot on today. And then what are you eating today? Oh, ramen noodles with some, throw in some uh, olives, absolutely nice. love some olives. Yeah, that'll be good stuff. We just cooked the water on the jet boil and filled them up. We're good to go. All right, packed up lunch. We're going to be heading way out over there next to those mountains and then we're going to travel back down this way to the base of those mountains continue on going we're going to see how far we can get today hopefully we'll accomplish the whole trail we're a little bit behind schedule but it's just for you you know so you can enjoy might even get in some night riding who knows we'll see all right let's keep going all right so this joshua tree was broken so I wanted to feel the inside of this thing this is like a it's kind of like a balsa wood is what it feels like that's pretty neat obviously it's dried out right now but that's real problems yeah that's pretty red yeah, yeah. got freedom America <laughs> oh yeah dude Hodge twins oh they're legit every time I would look in my side mirror and see this Isuzu Trooper coming through the wilderness of Southern Utah. I would think it is in its natural habitat. I had to get footage of it. It was amazing. Yeah, we lost a nut on this right under here. You can see as you rock it. Can you see it? Hold on, stick it back and forth. Right there. You see, see that? Pop in and out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. So we're gonna have to finish this trail another day, but all is well. All is well, found out a problem that he's been dealing with for years, and we're gonna fix it today. Come out, 
and we'll do this again, but I'll probably pick up from the highway instead of going through the first part, since you've already seen that. I'll start from the highway and come out this end, make it down to Vegas one of these days through the back roads. It'll be great. Thank you all for your support. We do end up completing the trail in the coming days. Keep an eye out for the next episode. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.